This is not about the movie, but people on Reddit for the Regal MMM and the people in the theaters, it's a $5 movie. Simmer down if it's not the movie you're looking for. It is a movie mystery. Mystery! Chase Liaki here with the Blue Futon reviewing Freelance. So what's about pretty simple premise? John Cena is kind of down on his luck. I mean, luck might be the right or wrong word, but he was special ops in the army. An accident happened, and now he's a lawyer. And he's just like, man, I hate my life right now. I have to feel like I'm doing nothing with it. But Christian Slater comes in and says, you know what? I have one mission. I need you to go to Panadonia and be a bodyguard for a journalist. But who she's interviewing is a dictator who supposedly killed half of his crew. Is his vendetta going to still be there? Or is he going to be like, wait a minute. There's more to the plot. Hmm. So, did I like this film? I thought it was a very much a middle-of-the-road, very minimal R-rated movie. And what I mean by that, the violence and the language is there was, like, so surface level of being PG-13 or R, and they decided to, like, up it to that R rating by adding a little bit more blood, which I totally dug it. But this is a very middle-of-the-road movie with pretty good performances, decent action set pieces, but the pacing and just the overall aesthetic of the movie just felt very cheap. And just over long through in and throughout. So talk about the positives. I do think Allison Briel, Christian Slater, John Cena do a fine job. I got to get the actor's name who actually did a really, really good job in this movie. He plays the dictator. I'm putting dictator in kind of quotations because, I mean, I'm not going to really call him a dictator. Because I don't really think he's a full-on dictator in this movie. And his name is Juan Pablo Raba. He has a fantastic job. I think he's the one that actually steals the show. When the action is on screen, it's pretty solid. It's very grounded. I like saying the word grounded, but this actually felt grounded where the people with the guns, especially John Cena, knew what he was doing. And then the, you know, the military of this poor country doesn't really know how to handle the guns because they don't know how the training works. And I do think it works pretty well. Even though I think the them as well as the South African mercenaries are like stormtroopers. None of them can hit shit. For like the longest time. It's like shotgun blast. Shotgun blast. Shotgun blast. It's like man. Who hired you guys? Because you're complete awfulness. And of course then when the other mercenaries come in from America. CDI's company. It does a pretty good job of them knowing what they're doing. The story is a been there done that to an extent. Because there was something where I was going to go. Oh man. They're going that old same old route of you know CIA America doing something. And. You know, there's an espionage or something, and America's trying to do everything. But they they actually decided to expand it to other countries, which I thought is a little bit smarter, because when you think about what is happening geopolitically around the world, it's not just USA doing all this stuff in South America. Hint, hint, a lot of China is doing stuff there. And hint, hint, the Brinks dollar. So, you know, everyone, you know, Hollywood is finally going, wait a minute, maybe USA isn't the only one pulling the strings and doing shady shit in other countries. So I like they decided to take that to a different level. I do think for it being a kind of a two-ish hour movie, hour 50 minute movie, it felt a little bit long or you needed a little bit more action set pieces to go in between. I know you're trying to go for an action comedy. and There were some pretty good comedic elements in this movie, but overall it's a fine little movie for $5. And that's my biggest thing about these Regal RRR. I made like friends with like eight old ladies that go to these things every two weeks and it's pretty fun. But you have some people in these movie theaters that are like, they grump, like, ugh, freelance. Dude, it's a $5 movie. It's a $5 movie, and that's the whole point. It's a mystery of you don't know what it's going to be. And so maybe you should just open your horizons and realize, you know what? I'm going to see if I like it or not. But you just have some people that are just sticks up their fucking asses, and you're just like, dude, calm the fuck down. Even on the Regal Reddit, you're just like, it starts in two hours, and I, we don't know what it is. It's called a mystery. Holy shit. Mystery. Anyway, Freelance. It's directed fine. It's written fine. I think the action is pretty good. The comedy kept me entertained, even though there were some pacing issues in the second half of the movie. And then when the third, you know, final boss battle, if I want to put it that way, or action set piece happened, I was like, yeah, 
I'm having a pretty good time. And overall, I can recommend this, but don't expect a lot. Don't expect a lot. Freelance will receive a 3 at a 5 of food times. It goes at 60%. Let's see what the Critics' Choose course gave this one. And of course, this doesn't come out until 27 October. There's no critics and no audience score. So anyway, my 60% Chase Lockie here with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know things Blue Tontopia. You Blue Tons think watch a great day. Now, I don't care if you watch this today, tomorrow, week round, month, right, year from now. I love every single freaking one of you. And yeah, the action was edited pretty good. Not a lot of jump cuts. It was a fine little movie. But this is for the people out there. It's a five dollar movie. And it's called a mystery. For a reason.